Hey, yo, what's up, everybody? We're kicking another sesh with Ripped. And today's video, we're going to be talking about the new Frieza instance and how to actually perform it to the best of your abilities. Because you know what? Uh, nobody wants to go inside an instance and have it get fucked up because of formations, because people just don't know what they're doing. They might not ask for help. That's one of the things, man. If you're in there, you don't know what you're doing, just ask for help, because somebody in the instance definitely knows what's up, especially if a guy named Ripped is in your instance. He knows what's up, so just ask. So the basic idea with this new instance is to collect the Dragon Balls. Uh, we'll start off with the six star here that we failed yesterday. Um, basically, this instance, every time you kill a mob, you're going to take damage. So it's imperative that you collect the Dragon Balls. Uh, this case here too, the games, what you want as well too is these... Por the game that was in the boss lane first, it's another big mistake, just noticed, is the games are too close. In this uh, instance, you want all the games, most of the games, to be stacked up in the portal lane. Uh, it gives enough chance for the other games, like the games in the portal, the games in the gold, and the games in the silver lane, to collect the Dragon Balls. And as you see here, the more you kill stuff, the more you're going to take damage. So, if you could limit that by making the games uh, progress to the enemy a lot slower, or progress to the boss a lot slower, you'll take a lot less damage. Now, it just seems every time you, in a 6-star, that you kill an elite, you're going to be taking damage anyways. And that's a trap. You need blue. Every time you step on it without a blue, everyone takes damage as well, too. So this is another instance that was poorly uh, set up and contrived. Uh, you need, especially for those traps, like that star here, whatever, that's a trap. You need blues for that. Again, in this idea here, the six star was a failure because every time you kill an elite, you're taking damage. You need to cover the traps, you're taking damage. Uh, if you don't collect the Dragon Balls, Everyone that has taken damage won't replenish their HP. So collecting the Dragon Balls actually replenishes the whole party's HP, teleports the games into the boss lane with buffed damage. So you're gang-fucking the boss if you collect the Dragon Balls with full health and a damage bonus. All right, so let's see what's going on in these five stars. As you can see, the games are in the, por in the boss lane here. There's two, and they're all the way down, which gives these games enough chances or the other games, sorry, in the in the gold lane and the silver lane to collect the Dragon Balls. The games in the boss lane don't have to go to the boss fast. All right? What you want to do is basically have these games slowly go to the boss, which gives these other games uh, uh, the advantage to collect the Dragon Balls. Now, if you collect the Dragon Balls without getting those chests, you're going to miss out on the chests because these games get ported. It takes the strongest games and it ports them over. Okay? So all the games now are in the boss lane. Guys, you can't fucking lose. Alright? I have a special ability I developed over this course of time here. I could reach through computer screens and fucking grab you by the neck and rifle hockey punches. About 99 of them in one second. That's my special superpower in this fucking life. I'm making this video because this instance you cannot fail. There's no reason for anyone to fucking fail this instance whatsoever. It's the easiest one. It's even easier than this one. The one that we just had. The, the proud, this instance is so fucking easy. Every single instance you just need three games in the goddamn boss lane. Every fucking map. It doesn't matter what it is. People fuck up because they put fucking shit everywhere. I don't understand. So I make videos here to enlighten the fucking population. Hopefully you motherfuckers will understand so I don't have to use my special power and rip you through the fucking monitor and rifle hockey punches in your fucking face. Okay? This is the easiest shit. Make sure the games slowly go to the boss to make sure the other games collect the Dragon Balls. Now, as you see the yellow, how, how it has a radar blimping like that, it'll suck the Dragon Ball to it. Okay, just like that, how you just seen that happen there in the portal. What the yellows are used for in this is to get the Dragon Balls that are out of range. Okay, so if you can't really get the Dragon Ball, you put the yellow there so it collects it. Just like that, it'll suck the Dragon Ball to the yellow ticket. And it's only for one time use. The radar is only for one time. Alright, so as you can see here, we got lots of time to get to the boss. It takes one game to kill the boss. It takes one game. With some, if you summon the Dragon Ball, you get healed up, you get 
improved damage bonuses and it takes one fucking game to kill the boss. Not even a good game, just any game. Okay? You don't need si look at this. There's seven other games waiting to kill the boss. This is how easy this instance is. Nobody should fuck this up. And everyone should cook get 3 out of 3 and 18 fucking chests every day for 2 months. For 2 months, you should not be failing. There should be absolutely zero fails. Remember, make sure the games go towards the boss slowly. Make sure the other games collect the Dragon Balls first. It's freaking easy. Just don't make me use my superpowers on you. Thank you guys for kicking another sesh. Take care.